it's Rachel with Sasha, and today we're going to work on the command stand. Now, stand is a, something that a lot of people um, don't necessarily work on. You know, the main ones are, you know, sit down and stay. Um, but stand comes in really handy, like if you take Sasha to the vet and you need her to get up on the scale and not be moving around. Um, stand works for her to uh, be there and quickly get the weight measurement. And also, if she needs um, to be examined, um, you know, as a lot of labs get older, they'll get fatty tumors or something like that. And um, Sasha is a few years away from that, which is good. But it's important that she stands and stays while the vet can really examine her, run their hands all over her, um, and stuff like that. So we're going to practice that today, and we're also going to work on stay. Um, so. When you have Sasha, the first thing, you know, you usually uh, use the verbal command along with the physical um, command. And so, she's already standing, but all right, now she sits. So, I'm going to pull up on her leash and use my hand to take it right under her tuck up, which is where her leg, her back leg um, meets her rib cage there, and tell her to stand. So, Sasha, stand. Good girl. So she's moving around when I touch her, which is a perfect example of why we want, her to te want to teach her stand so that when the vet touches her to examine her or anything like that, um, she stands and she's not turning around and so they can um, get a good feel um, for her body and uh, give her a good checkup. Sasha, stand. Stand. All right, she's wanting to move around a lot, so that's normal. Um, so we aren't going to do stand and stay today because she's um, having enough trouble just standing and staying in one place. Um, so like right now, she's doing great, but I didn't give her the command. And so what she can do is when she is standing quietly, like she is right now, you can tell her stand, so hopefully she starts to learn that. And then also when um, you pick her up, just give her the little touch on her flank there um, in her tuck up, and that that will be the cue too. And you can also do another hand motion like, uh, a lot of times people use this for sit, but if you use a different hand motion for sit, you can use this for stand or up or something like that. So I'm going to uh, work on getting her used to me touching her back under her tuck up and telling her stand and hopefully she won't move around so much. So she's already doing it now, we just want to use the word with the motion um, to get her to learn it. Sasha, she's looking for a treat. So that's fine, she's good off leash, so I'm gonna use the treat and bait her out in front and then um, go around and tell her to stand. Sasha, up gently, stand. 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 Gently, gently. Good girl. Good girl, Sasha. Good girl. All right. She did well there. Um, keep working on uh, her word like gentle for taking the treats or nicely, whatever word you're using um, for that because she's definitely... Uh, chewing it for the and looking for the treat the whole time that we're doing this. So, Sasha, stand. Good girl. Good stand, Sasha. Good stand. All right, we'll practice a couple more times, and I'll see if I can get the treat um, a little bit farther away from her nose and keep her standing like she is now. So, strap her. Sit. Sasha, sit. Good girl. Sasha, stand. 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 Good girl. Good girl. So there, um, when I didn't have the treat in front of her nose, I was touching her tuck up, um, telling her to stand. She wasn't getting up. She was just kind of moving her front feet like, what are you doing? Um, so you definitely want to get her more used to that. 
And I think the treats are going to be a really valuable tool um, for her right now while she's learning it, because once I get the treat in front of her mouth, um, in addition with touching her under her tuck up, that seems to be what gets her up um, the most. And so eventually you want to get to the point where she can stand and stay, kind of like this, which I don't want to give her too much credit for because I didn't give her the command yet. Um, but this is good. And then also, once she gets really good with stand, you don't necessarily have to get a lot of distance, but um, teach her to stay and get her comfortable with someone going up, running their hands all over her like this, and having her stay standing and not be moving all around. Um, so that's kind of some stuff to work on in the future, but we don't want to ask too much of her by, um, by expecting her to do that now. Now we just need to work up on her standing up and at least staying still and staying in one spot. So this was Rachel and Sasha working on stand.